Hey everybody, welcome to Strumming with Christopher. I'm Christopher Gallegos with Monterey County Free Libraries, Gonzales Branch. So, today we're going to talk about the minor pentatonic scale, and that's our entryway into melody. So we know chords, we know strumming, we know some chords, first position chords, bar chords, a little bit of finger picking. But we haven't talked about melody. So a chord, what's a chord? Well, it's when you play a bunch of notes together and they sound good in unison, right? A melody is when you're playing notes one after the other and they sound pleasant. A uh, melody is happy birthday. So just like we have minor chords, we have a minor scale. We have major chords, we have a major scale. Okay, so major and minor scales would seem the logical starting point, but not so quick, not so fast, not so quick, fast. Um, I want to start you all with the minor pentatonic scale. So penta means five in Greek or in Latin, I can't remember which, but it's really just a scale that has five notes. And a scale is much like a chord. A scale is kind of a road map to where your fingers have notes that they can play and notes that don't sound so good. So what you want to do is, well, a scale gives you notes that sound good. So if you're trying to make up a catchy little melody, you have to know, well, I can use this fret, this fret, but not this fret. Um, and there are what are called keys, which, you know, there's generally a lot of notes. There's 12 notes, right? And a key is... Say you're playing chords in a certain key, you're only playing chords that are in the notes of that scale. Sounds complicated, we don't want to get into that yet. But what we do want to get into is, well, okay, say I want to start playing something that sounds catchy. How do I do that? Well, first you have to learn a couple scales. And so just like we learn power chords, which are kind of neutral, minor chord, power chord. Power chord sounds a little neutral because there's not as many notes in there, so it doesn't have that happy or sad flavor as much as a full-on chord would. And a minor pentatonic scale, it's called minor because the notes are derived from the minor scale. Pentatonic is. Okay, but it, it, it can be used in a lot of different ways. You'll hear it in blues music, you'll hear it in old, some of the old Chinese music from thousands of years ago. You'll hear... Chinese orchestras playing melodies like or in blues you'll hear stuff like that, right? And those are both minor pentatonic examples. So even though it's a minor pentatonic scale, five notes doesn't seem like that much. You hear it in Caribbean steel drum music. A lot of melodies can be made with those five notes. But before we start learning how to put them in different arrangements, we have to learn the arrangement as it is in the scale. Okay, So we're going to jump into this example. and I'm going to use a minor pentatonic scale as our example here, just like I did with the bar chords, where I give you a certain key or a certain position just for an example, for an exercise. And then we can start to see how this shape can be moved all up and down the fretboard, just like bar chords. So we're just going to jump right into this. So don't worry too much about how you're picking up or down, thumb, finger. Just find a way to play the string, the corresponding string for now. And we're worried about the left hand fingering in this video. So let's start right here. We're on fret number five with our index finger. Fingertip pressing down on the fifth fret like this. That's our first note. Okay. And then we're going to have a stretch with our pinky to fret number eight. Notice my index finger kind of came off. Okay, that's our second note of the pentatonic, minor pentatonic. Then we're going to go down to the A string, fifth fret again with our index finger, A string. Then ring finger is going to go to fret seven. Mm -hmm. And then our final note in this scale is uh, D string, fifth fret again. Okay, so, so far we have this. Let's 
play it uh, going up here. So it'll sound like this. Okay, so that would be when you finish the scale going down, your finger will still be on the D string, fifth fret. So let's play that. And then go back up to the A string with your ring finger on fret seven. And then index finger fret five. And then pinky fret eight. And then back to our A on the low E. Okay. So that's a little pattern there. And you have your, your kind of your very easy movable pentatonic, minor pentatonic scale. Now the pentatonic scale is very approachable when you're first learning melody because even when you're going down all six strings, which will sound like this, if you're watching my left hand, you're noticing that it's kind of like a box shape. There's not a lot of movement, there's not a lot of sliding, it's just kind of in one spot. And that's what makes minor pentatonic such a powerful scale because you can move that shape all up and down. So just like with the bar chords, we can move up and down. Minor chord. G minor. You see how this, the notes are kind of similar. You're starting to see these patterns manifest, right? But with the minor pentatonic scale, this is just meant to be an exercise to start getting your fingers used to moving individually, one note at a time, as opposed to chunks of notes, which are chords. So both are important, but rhythm guitar, I think, is more important when you're starting out because anybody can just solidly kind of strum and sound good. But very few people start out trying to play guitar solos. That's, that's a little more advanced. So we're skimming the surface of that. So, yes, that's the pattern I want you all to practice this time, this week. And then we're going to extend it out in future videos. But for now, we have that, that minor pentatonic shape. And we'll explain why, why scales are important. I mean, I gave you the basic, right? The basic thing that once you have a roadmap of what strings you can play, then you can start making little riffs. So playing it down, up, you can start doing different notes in there. Only five notes, but it can sound interesting, right? So that'll be our exercise. I'll have you guys and see if I can move this camera up a little closer here. And just one more, uh, one more go here. Something to chew on. Sorry you can't see my pick hand. I'll try to pick way up high for you. <laughs> Remember, let's, let's practice this and practice this over and over and over. So index finger, fifth fret, low E string, pinky fret eight. Go down to the A string, fifth, uh, ring finger, seven, and index finger on the D. Okay, so that's going down. And let's play it going up. Same notes, just backwards. So we end and we start on D string, fifth fret. Play that. Ring finger, go up to A string, index finger, fifth fret, A string, pinky, eighth fret low E string, and index finger, fifth fret, low E. So again, it'll sound like this, going up and down. Pause for a bit. <laughs> um, yeah, and if you don't even wanna worry about picking, you can also be doing that shape just with your left hand. Get comfortable with going up and down that sequence of five notes. You can move it all up and down, and you're starting to get a feel for how melodies get put together, guitar solos, and it's a whole new world. And we haven't abandoned finger picking or rhythm, but we're just looking into something different here. So try that little shape using the A minor as your bass. Uh, not because it's better, it's just easy to remember. Five, seven, uh, five, eight, five, seven, five. And then five, seven, five, eight, five. Do that and see what you think. And we'll talk more about minor pentatonic 
next video. Thank you guys as always for tuning in. I appreciate your time and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.